and fly, fly away, go and find a better place. Faith that we be okay. Hey everyone, Brad here with Mile Manor DDC. I want to do a quick review today of uh, this little Spyderco. This is the Spyderco Dragonfly 2 in, yeah, you read the description. That's right, <laughs> K390. There it is. You can see it right there. Yeah, so K390, beast of a steel, you know, pretty phenomenal tool steel that's out there. And, and you know, true to Spyderco form, they're taking an opportunity to, you know, mix the steels up as they like to do. And it's pretty cool. They do that pretty much more. I think they do that just about more than any other company out there. In fact, I don't even know if there's another company that's even close to the number of steel variants that Spyderco uses. Not even close, but... And that's what that's a big part of what makes them fun as a company, and I think it earns them a lot of fans, and probably rightfully so. So, you know, this little knife has been around. The Dragonfly has been around for a while, but uh, I figured for those of you that might be interested in picking one up in the K390, a little video might be helpful, so I thought I'd throw it out there. So... Let's go ahead and do a couple little specs uh, real quick. We've got a blade length here of two and a quarter inches, a cutting edge slightly smaller, about 1.8 inches. We've got an overall when it's all opened up of about uh, five and a half inches. I think when it's all closed, it's only like, you know, three, a little over three, uh, three inches. And a feathery uh, 1.2 ounces. So this is definitely a small and light little knife, um, particularly this variant. So a lot to like about this. This particular knife is made in Seki City, Japan. So there you go. And yeah, so let's go ahead and, uh, well, you know what? Let's do a couple little size comparisons. Those are always fun. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. People find those fun. How about a Spyderco Urban? One of my favorite Spyderco slip joint knives. Uh, and then how about an Ontario Rat number one? There you go. So yeah, you can definitely see that even opened up, it fits about in the handle of the rat number one. <laughs> but uh, if you're looking for a small knife, this is definitely one of the best options out there. Here's a Spyderco Delica. And if you've watched a previous video of mine, you noticed that my Delica had a nice nasty dirty blade and I haven't bothered to clean it even since that video. So there you go. And then how about a Benchmade bug out? So you get a scent. And that also has a slightly dirty blade. Good grief. Okay. So there you go. There's some fun size comparisons. So you kind of get a sense of what you're getting into with a little Dragonfly 2 here. So the blade, right? You've got this K390 steel, which is a phenomenal steel. It's a beast of a steel, right? I mean, you know, and there, there's certainly some irony that Spyderco is putting that in tiny little knives like this. <laughs> and even smaller ones like the man bug and ladybug. That kind of cracks me up a little bit. I mean, you know, why a little knife like that needs, or even like this, needs a blade, a blade steel like that is, you know, that's purely for the joy of the hobbyists and the collectors out there. Um, and those of us in kind of the knife and EDC hobby that just love that sort of thing. So, and for those of us that get a kick out of different steels. So there you go, but but definitely a beast of a steel. Now, not a stainless steel. So you're gonna to wanna to be, you know, bathing it in some EDCI just about every night. Um, no, it's not that extreme, but definitely you're gonna to wanna to give it some coating there. Unless you're looking for some patina, um, or you can go extreme and just cover it in rust, which is a different type of patina. But um, I know some people do like the patina that forms on K390, sort of the natural patina. And, you know, that's cool too. So either way, but just be mindful it's not a stainless steel if that's what you're looking for. And uh, we've got a spider hole here for deployment on the blade. It is a very thin and slicey blade, super thin. You know, it comes down to a very, very fine edge, fantastic slicer you know, a d pretty dainty tip. I mean, you're not going to be doing a lot of heavy duty use with this, uh, despite, <laughs> despite the uh, beast of a steel that it's got uh, working for it. Now on deployment, it is a lockback knife. So, you know, you can, you can flick it uh, if you want to flick it open and then you can kind of do a little shake shut. That's a great thing the Spyderco does with their, a lot of their lockback knives. Uh, it's got a very smooth and um, it's, it's just a very smooth knife, uh, typical, you know, kind of spider co fit and finish there. Nothing to complain about that. You know, no, um, no blade play, no blade rock, anything like that. So very secure lockup. And yeah, I mean, just from a lockback standpoint, if that's the kind of knife you're looking for, or if that's, you've got legal restrictions around what kind of knives you can have, they're a great option. And especially if you're traveling, even here in the United States, uh, it's, it's nice to have a lockback in your, 
sort of catalog um, of knives. So there you go. That's what we've got on action and deployment there. For scales and hardware, you know, I think this is one of the things that's sort of the hallmark of the uh, Dragonfly in K390 is this sort of denim blue kind of look. And it definitely, in person, it might look a little more vibrant here on the camera. In person, it's definitely a, a, a denim blue. Um, you know, just kind of a traditional <laughs> jeans, kind of older school style of jeans blue. Um, that's what you've got here. So, you know, it is this bi-directional FRN, which means you've got kind of going both directions here. And, you know, it's got a lot of little, you know, it's got some nice grip. It does have these sort of weird black pivot, you know, kind of collar here around the pivot. It doesn't do that on the uh, clip screws or anything like that, but it's on both sides. I'm not really entirely sure what that's about. It's a little funky. But weird. It's weird. But, you know, whatever. That's right. And you've got a wire clip here. So that's pretty nice there as it relates to scales and hardware. So that's what we've got. Now, ergos and carry, you know, ergos for a knife this small, it's got great ergos. I mean, and that's, you know, ergos are one thing Spyderco does really well. I will say because of the wire clip, which I know is very desirable, this one, because it has to be kind of so short, uh, it definitely, I think, is a little bit of a hot spot. Um, for me, it definitely is. Kind of hits me right here in this part of my hand. But again, I don't envision doing any kind of really, despite the steel, <laughs> super hard use. And I, you know, work with this one, the tip and the sort of blade stock doesn't really, I think, you know, give you a lot of reason to do that. And two, um, yeah, it's just not, the size just isn't there. But for your daily cutting tasks, normal EDC type tasks, you know, you got four fingers going on here. I have, you know, medium to smaller sized hands, um, but it fits great. I feel comfortable in this, you know, you're really not, I don't think going to be doing this kind of a grip on it. You're almost always going to be in this mode, which is fine. Um, and, and that's what it's there for. And so from that standpoint, the ergos are pretty good with the exception of a little bit of a hotspot there. But again, as I've mentioned in other videos, hotspots are subjective. So there you go. Take it for what you will. It is a little off center. I'm noticing. In fact, I think I noticed that earlier. That's not uncommon with these, uh, Seki City kind of things, although I just kind of straightened up my Delica, I think, there. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. I'm sure I could tighten that up and, you know, maybe get it there. But either way, it's a lock back, so it doesn't really make that big of a deal to me. So carry, as I mentioned, uh, it is a wire clip, but you don't get deep carry because you've got this friggin' lanyard hole right at the top of it. <laughs> and I just don't, you know, ah, I, I'm not a lanyard person, so I just don't get that. Um, it is ambidextrous, so you can put it on both sides, which is nice, which also makes this a fully ambidextrous knife because of the way it opens and because it's a lockback. So, you know, from that standpoint, if you're a righty or a lefty, awesome. Can't go wrong with that. Um, this is a, a, a very good knife for... Uh, whatever hand you prefer. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I just, I, uh, come on, Spider Co. I mean, whatever. But it does land on this nice little landing pad here. So, you know, it's kind of pretty easy in and out of the pocket. Um, it's a little stiffer than some of the wire clips I've had on other knives. So just kind of be aware of that. Uh, I found, found that a little interesting. But yeah, there you go. Um, I wish it was a little higher so it'd be a little more deep carry. You know, you're going to have that sticking out of your pocket and this kind of useless lanyard hole. But if you're a lanyard person, yay, lucky you, there's a hole. Um, so there you go. That's kind of what we've got with this knife. I know this is quick, um, but, I, you know, I think Dragonfly has been around a long time. If you're, if you know, if you're looking for a small knife and you want it in the toughest steel possible, I'm not sure you can beat this option. I don't step on toes, little John. I step on necks. Honestly, um, unless you want even smaller, you can go man bug or ladybug. But, you know, this really for just an everyday EDC knife is is a, is pretty darn ideal for its size. Uh, if this is really kind of what you're in the market for. And that steel is pretty awesome. But again, keep in mind, it's not stainless. And I don't want, you know, I really hope people don't buy this and then go, why the heck is the blade all funky after, you know, I left it out in my wet, <laughs> you know, you know, whatever, uh, camping gear or something like that. You know, it's just, it's not gonna, you're gonna have to be treating it with that EDCI to keep it nice and, and fresh. So with that, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thanks a lot for coming by. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'd really enjoy uh, having you here. Uh, we're a, a fun little mild mattered family here. And uh, for those of you already subscribed and supporting the channel, thanks so much. I really appreciate it as always. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope it's given you something to think about. And if you're looking to put some uh, money down to pre-order one of these guys, uh, there you go. I hope this helped out. So with all that said, stay safe out there. Be mild mannered to one another. And all the best.